Welcome back to the Roadshow, everybody. This morning in the buzz, we are talking bad gifts. Now, uh, you know you've received one at some point in your life. Everybody has. New study actually finds 90% of employees say they have faked a positive reaction <laughs> to a gift they've received from an employer. The worst ones being a book on how to be better at your job. Oh, that would sting. That's, yeah, that'd be bad. <laughs> uh, season tickets to the CEO's son's Little League. <laughs> what kind what? of a gift is that? Deli meat. Oh, my goodness. Well, that depends on if it's, you know, like a super sod or something like that. You'd be, I'd okay, be, with I'd that? be okay with that. A yeah. seat to belt cutter. Quail from a boss's hunting trip. Mm. A lanyard. Uh, so we wanted to know if you ever received a gift you didn't like and did you fake the reaction? What was it like? I mean, I think in the workplace, I, I think you just have to say, oh, thank you very yeah, much. And, and move on. And move on. Right, but that got on. us to thinking about the history of bad gifts. I think we've all been there, like you said. Well, yeah, I think we, everybody, everybody at some point in life has gotten some sort of bad gift that you've received from someone. And look, I think if you get a gift, someone's taking the time out of their day to think of you and be kind enough to give you a gift. You have to be kind back and not say, "Oh, this is junk," and get you know, I don't want this, and throw it away. I think, if you, but if you have something that maybe you don't need, put it aside. Right. Maybe somebody else will. I know I've gotten a gift before that was not so spectacular or not so great. And at first, I was like, "What am I going to do with this?" And then years down the road, I, I I needed it, and I was happy to have it. I went downstairs. I'm like, you know what? I've got it. This will work perfectly for it. Absolutely. And sometimes I know that the, in the culture, you know, Seinfeld, I think, kind of infused the vernacular with the word regift right. from that famous episode. I mean, everyone was doing it before. Maybe the word existed before that, but it's been around for so long sure. now. I think it's okay if you receive something and you know that you don't like it. You right. just loathe this gift. You're never going to use it, but you know someone that could. If it's unopened or brand new, just give it to right. somebody else. It's, it saves you the trouble. Just don't be a jerk to that person. <laughs> Which person? The one who well, gave yeah, it to you? Yeah, the one who gave it to you. Yeah, yeah of course. Don't be yeah. A jerk. Oh, this sucks. Yeah, no, I mean, you can't be a jerk. If someone <laughs> took taking the time to go out, go out and get you something, you have to at least be decent enough to that to that person. Polite and cordial. Polite and co cordial to it. And it really is the thought that counts. I mean, look, we've all gotten, you know, oh, look, tube socks. You know? Actually, well, I could use some. I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> Are they nice tube socks? Yeah. I got these new socks. Yeah. Uh, or just something that maybe you don't really need or, or it's just something that you're not even going to ever use. Oh, look right. at this DVD VCR combo. I think you get to a point where a lot of folks, where if you're exchanging gifts with maybe a Secret Santa thing with, with people, it's almost to the point of, well, I'm going to give you a gift. You're going to give me a gift. So why don't we just like hang out? We'll go out and get something nice to eat or come on over. We'll have something nice, nice at the house and just skip the gifts right now. Absolutely. Just skip the gifts. Just spend some time together, do something fun, maybe right. catch a, a game sure. or something like that. Tickets are always good. Too. Tickets are always good. You can get some... tickets for something. That's always good. I'm going to take you to a lavish Broadway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually going to a game on Friday night. Oh, are you really saying? Well, we'll learn more about this as the week progresses. <laughs> well, shall we? We shall. Shall we take a look at what our friends have to say today on social media as I sashay on over to the new, uh, the new tech center, as we call it, or whatever it is. I really should rehearse. Priscilla Paquin is up first. One of the worst was a branding iron for burgers, steaks, etc. To mark them rare, medium rare, well, I never use the thing. Yeah, well, what would you do with that? Unless you really wanted it, who knows? Dave Tank, Bloomingburg shares. Many years ago, I did receive a gift. Here we go. It was a re-gift. One of those cheese jam gift sets. <laughs> I, of course, said thank you. And that's all you can do. I wonder if the giver is watching right now. And Dennis Weiner says here today, you should be grateful for any gift you receive. I couldn't agree more. So that's William Gilmore. <laughs> Lastly, Dennis Weiner closes things out. The strangest gift I ever received which was a plastic horse with a wind-up clock built into its side. I didn't know if I should put it on my desk or take it to the track. Let it ride. I love it, Dennis. Thanks, everyone. Very amusing. We appreciate your comments, as always. Uh, we couldn't do the show without well, cameras, and all of you, of course. So please leave your comments on the bus topic each morning on Facebook, and we may even read yours right here on the show. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram. I believe all of those are easily found. If only I knew where. Oh, right, right there at the Roadshow. So please follow along and have some fun with us on social media, where everyone is always so positive and uplifting. For now, we want to send things back into the kitchen. We'll take it away. That is so true. We're back in the Roadshow Kitchen. Our